Hey guys, what's up? iOS 6.0.1 was announced today and it is jailbreakable on every pre-A5 device. Now, it will not work on the iPhone 5, the iPod Touch 5th generation, or any of the iPads. And the reason for this is it uses uh, exploit that is not yet discovered on these devices. Now, if you want more details, click on the annotation now. This jailbreak will work for the iPod Touch 4th generation, the iPhone 4, and the iPhone 3GS. The jailbreak will be tethered for all devices except for the old boot ROM 3GS. If you want to know if your 3GS has an old boot ROM, then click in the link in the description for more details. So what you're going to need is your 6.0 firmware for your device. I'm using an iPod Touch 4th generation, and here I have the iPod Touch 4 uh, firmware. You can get this in our tutorial under the under the step just download the firmware respective to your device and then have red snow 0.9.15 beta 2 and beta 3 both work for this tutorial so make sure you have beta 2 or higher so what you're going to need to do first is open up red snow and then you're going to hit open if you have your settings disabling third party apps you're going to have to enable that by going into system preferences and if you're on Windows, you're going to have to right click and run as administrator to make sure it works. So the first thing we're going to do is hit the extras button. And once you hit the extras button, you're going to need to hit select IPSW. And under this, you're going to find the iPod Touch 6.0. Make sure it's 6.0 even though you are running 6.0.1. And then hit open. Once it says identified, just hit back. Now you're going to hit the jailbreak button and wait for uh, the process to prepare for the jailbreak. Now make sure install City is on because you're going to need that. And then you can install custom bundles if you want. Not really necessary as you can do it later. And then enabling battery percentage if you wish to do that. Hit next. Now you're going to need to turn off your device. So that's what we're going to be doing right here. And then the next step is going to be to go mm -hmm. into DFU mode. And how you do that is follow the instructions on the next page, in which we're going to do right now. So you're going to hold the top button for three seconds, hold both the top and home for the next time, and get ready to get rid of the top button while you're still holding down on the home button. So that's what we're going to do right now. Just let our hand go and wait for this process to go into DFU mode in a couple of seconds. Now you're not done with the jailbreak, you're going to need to boot tethered before you do this process. So just wait for this to finish and then continue on with the tutorial. Now we mentioned that this is a tethered jailbreak, you're going to have to complete this next step every time your device turns off. Make sure that you select the IPSW if you, if you close Red Snow for any reason. And all you're going to have to do is hit the Just Boot option and now you're going to turn off your device just like you did previously. Just slide to turn that off and then the next button should be able to click as soon as this goes down. Follow the steps like we did before. And there we go, boot tethered, and as soon as that is done, uh, Cydia will be able to be used. Here we have the iPod Touch. It took me a few tries. For some reason, it wasn't working, so I just tried it over to just boot, and on the third time, it did work. It should hopefully work for you on the first time. Now you have Cydia right here. We're going to be opening it up, and as you can see, Cydia does load, and I'll prove that we're on 6.0.1 by scrolling down and showing you the SHSH blobs which are actually on the top, my bad mistake right there I don't know if you can see it, on the very bottom it says 6.0.1 so there we have Cydia working jailbreak for 6.0.1 thanks for watching, if this video helped please subscribe for updates and I'll see you guys later